up to plant a mamaki. I'm gonna go over to this compost pile where there's a shit ton of sweet potatoes growing around it. Whatever thought is beneath your defenses I know we've all been through shit That's why we build these walls and fences But I'm coming out with a different story Today is a new day and I'm set free I recognize the beauty before me I have time to invest in progressing my dreams And if I hate my shadow Then my shadow will overtake me But if I love my shadow I just scooped into this compost um, and I'm mixing it up to plant some mamaki tree and you need the black cinder because it helps aerate the soil. The compost is really muddy and has no, you, the plant wouldn't be able to breathe and it would die and rot. So you need black cinder to, or some sort of gravel, um, or sorry, some sort of rock or like perlite or peat moss to kind of aerate it. But black cinder is something that, it's lava rock, so you can buy it for a pretty good price by the truckload. So that's what we do. So we gotta purchase the black cinder, and we have to make our own soil by making our own compost out of our food scraps, or digging up the mud around our property. It can get pretty muddy, so it's nice to get rid of that, and but also utilize it for our garden. But with the mud, it needs a little bit of compost or fertilizer added to it because it's pretty um, nutrient deficient, the soil around here. So, yeah. And that seems pretty good. I think. So, if we grab it, we squeeze it in our hand. We want it to stick together but also fall apart. A bit like when we when we oh, rub okay. it. Yeah, I don't know. It might need to be mixed up more or a little more cinder. Is that more cinder? Yeah. I don't know if I mixed it super well yet. I'm set free. I recognize the beauty before me. I have time to invest in progressing my dreams. And if I hate my shadow, then my shadow will overtake me. But if I love my shadow, then my shadow will help me break free. better falls apart kind of sticks together at some point better I guess it's an experiment okay now I gotta figure out where we're gonna put it so before I plant the tree I just want to share with you guys that I cleared this area yesterday this tree right here this ohia this big one there was guava these little skinny trees were just like all around clustered around kind of like over here you see it's just like a cluster of craziness and jungle so yeah i kind of cleared this open yesterday because there's a flower plant back there that i really like that was just growing either naturally or someone planted it long before we got here so i wanted to uncover that and kind of make this like a flower garden but um i decided yeah i want to plant some maki tree over here which is a leaf that you can use as a tea it's really medicinal and um, you can also there's berries that grow on it that you can eat and they're really 
really cool. So, so yeah, we're gonna plant it right over in this area. So I have to remove some rocks. I think I wanna put it right in here. <laughs> Slippery, it's been raining. And um, yeah, so out here it's like mostly there's no soil really, it's a lot of lava rock. So in order to make a hole to put soil in, we kind of remove rocks. Make a hole. Oh, slug. Make holes. Maybe I should get gloves. Well, that was my timer for the. Hi. There you go. That's a nice hole. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go check my eggs. My ovaries. Drain them. So yeah, jump in between two things always. Making some hard boiled eggs for lunch or a salad. working a farmer. Oh, I gotta drink water. If you want me to help you, I'll help. <laughs> when you fuck it. Yeah, after math. Compost is too heavy. Ugh, it's wet. So we missed, but it's okay. It's not, nothing's wasted. We don't have coronavirus. medicinal leaves. I think they're really good for digestive issues. Um, I think something to do with respiratory as well. But yeah, the berries are really good. Um, and I guess they've been known to treat thrash, um, the berries, when children eat them. So it's just medicinal and wonderful for you. So I'm excited. a little bit but we're, we're gonna get this baby in the ground baby mamaki see so yeah, I looked it up online again and mamaki is just good for so many things respiratory issues um, just a very healing plant overall so I'm gonna use it for tea a little deeper the leaves for tea and then the berries we can eat. Okay. Now we just gotta put some mulch over top. So we get this mulch for free in the county. Just go load our things 
throw it in our truck bag and then we have to unload it when we get home. Super nice resource. Super rich and we'll feed it to all of our fruit trees like once a month. Yeah. But if we love our shadow, then our shadow will help create trouble. something and also I want to show you guys what else I have over here this is gonna I want to like plant more flowers throughout here but um so here's one of them this is an orchid that I got from we got from a friend's property um, really cool like yeah really beautiful very fuzzy and then over here, there's no flowers yet, but this is our gardenia, and that smells really potent. It's a pretty orchid. And the reason that I'm planting flowers all around this area is because this is like the woman's space, like a space for women to come um, and relax. So I feel like it's a good spot to have flowers for like that women vibe. I want to plant more anthuriums around here because I like those. If you've never heard of an anthurium, look it up. They're really cool.